What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on the Texas Rangers Report. And today I am co-hosted with um, the co -ho the host of Texas Rangers Fanatics. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and plug your channel to my um, YouTube subscribers? Yeah, thanks for having me first off. And um, for those who don't know me, I am Texas Rangers Fanatics. I run an Instagram page with almost 12,000 followers now. So y'all can follow me over there. It's the same name on every platform. I got Twitter. And of course, I've been active here on YouTube lately. So I'm happy to join uh, Centerfield Media here today for Texas Rangers support and talk some baseball. For sure. So obviously with the lockout right now, there hasn't been a lot to talk about. It, it got really hot with the signing of Seager, um, Simeon, John Gray, et cetera, you know, but it's cooled off with the lockout. Um, so the mindset has shifted, shifted towards the MLB draft. The Texas Rangers had a terrible 2021 record, so we'll be picking in the top three again. So I'm looking at who the Rangers should target in the 2022 MLB draft. And obviously, um, there, there's the dog, but he likes to come in the videos. But obviously, the rankings are going to change because, um, like, last year, Kumar Rocker was projected to go number one. He fell all the way to the 11th pick and didn't even sign with the Mets. So would you like to um, – Talk about some prospects that you're most excited about for next year. Yeah. So, I mean, looking at the the big three, the top three current ranked on MLB, you got Drew Jones, son of should be Hall of Famer, Andrew Jones, sure. Tamar Johnson and Elijah Green. And from my perspective, the Rangers need to continue to pursue some outfield depth, whether that's from high school or college. Um, and with that being said, Tamar Johnson is definitely the best high school hitter. Mm -hmm. However, he is not an outfielder, which leaves you with Drew Jones and Elijah Green. Uh, both are very similar statistically and with their ratings in the scouting. But I think Drew Jones currently just edges him out right now. Um, so that's where I stand at the moment. I think if he's available, definitely go for Drew Jones. And as you mentioned this will change. I mean, it's only January right now. As we get closer to that June, July drafting season, none of this could even be applicable. But as it stands now, I would go for Drew Jones or Elijah Green. And for some of you guys that aren't really um, aware of the MLB prospects, Drew Jones, Tamar Johnson, Elijah Green, those are the top high school players as of right now, um, high school bats, but just the high school players. Um, so in my opinion, I'm not too high on Drew Jones. I think he has a funky swing, but I do agree that the Rangers outfield depth is um, lacking. So um, if I were to go for an outfielder, I'd prefer um, Elijah Green. I think he draws some comps to Ronald Acuna, but it's kind of hard to be say, oh, you're the next Acuna because Acuna is a generational talent. So I'm not as high on Drew Jones, but because I think his hit tool um, is a little shaky. But the, the only thing that's holding Elijah Green back is his strikeouts. Um, the guy is basically a five-tool player, but if he um, works on his strikeout numbers, this guy could be the next Ronald Acuna. He's playing center field right now. He could move the left field, could move the right field. But the outfield depth for the Rangers is lacking because – we drafted Bubba Thompson in 2017, hasn't really panned out. Um, we signed Julio Pablo Martinez after missing on Shohei Otani. That didn't pan out. Um, we traded for Steel Walker after trading this Nomar Mazzara experiment didn't work out. So a lot of guys that we thought were going to be here for the future of the outfield aren't really working out. So the outfield could make sense. However, if I'm going the high school route, I want the sure bat in Tamar Johnson because I've just been burnt too many times with the high school bats, but I know that you can't really go wrong with Drew Jones or Elijah Green, but that's my um, list right there, probably Tamar and then Elijah. But would you like to break down the top three college bats in this year's draft? 
Yeah, so looking at that, we got Jacob, Barry, Brooks, Lee, and Jace Young, of course, being the brother of Josh, who the Rangers For sure. are expecting him to come up any day now. Uh, all three incredible players, starting with Jacob Barry, he hit 352 in 2021 and set all kinds of score records and led the Pac-12 in extra base hits, total bases, and runs batted in. Brooks Lee a switch hitter as well. And he's a shortstop who was the co big West player of the year in 2021. He hit 350 as well. But the intriguing thing with Brooks is that he struck out just 13.6% of the time and was making consistent hard contact all summer. So it's nowadays because everybody's striking out nowadays. Yeah, exactly. So that seeing his numbers like that, that is a huge bonus and, of course, with the college bats, they are more developed and more likely to have a shorter path to getting to the MLB. And lastly, Jace, also a solid guy. Uh, his biggest appeal is definitely his hitting and his power. He's currently rated at 60 in both of those. And he was the Big 12 player of the year in 2021. So it'd be cool to see him and Josh together if that situation presents itself. But I don't think they'll go with him with the pick. Uh, but we'll see how it pans out. Yeah, so here's my perspective whenever looking at a high school player compared to a college player. So um, whenever you draft a high school player, you have five years to develop them for their, for, before they need to be protected from the Rule 5 draft. With a college player, it's four years. But the thing is, usually a college player gets three years of development at a really established college program for Jacob Berry, that's LSU, Jace Young, that's Tulsa, I mean, Texas Tech. So that's three years plus four years with the major league club. So that's um, seven years of solid development if you believe, believe in your team's um, development program. Although with the high school players, um, yes, you get those five years. However, you don't really know how good that high school development is. So would could Elijah Green be the next Ronald Acuna? Perhaps, yes. But I mean, Jace Young, Brooks Lee, Jacob Berry, they could fly through the system two years, three years, and they could be on the next competing Rangers um ball club. I mean, all those guys, um, Jace Young, not the best defender. Um, he played at third, had to move to second. Scouts say. Maybe he's better at first, but he kind of gives me Kyle Schwarber vibes. Um, and then Jacob Barry, he's drawn comps to Andrew Vaughn. It didn't take Andrew Vaughn long to make the major leagues. Um, again, Andrew Barry, he he hits he hits bombs, um, but he's not really. Um, he has a he's not he's like Kyle Kyle Schwarber doesn't really have a solid position. Brooks Lee's at shortstop. Um, he might have to move to third. So I'm looking at the high school prospects, and you've got questionable hit tools for some, but solid defense. And with the college players, you have really good hit tools, but questions at the with their defense. So I, I don't know. Who would you take? Um, obviously, say all of them are available for the Texas Rangers. Who would you take with the third overall pick? That is – the ultimate question um there are like you just mentioned there's all kinds of upsides and downsides but considering what the rangers need as well as taking the best available player which in this scenario they would all be there i would have to say i think you're probably right there i think you'd have to take elijah green in that scenario um because the rangers aren't fully empty in the outfield by the time someone like green would get up there they still have uh, Tavares. They still have guys that might be able to pan out in the later years here because a lot of them are still early 20s. So by the time someone like Green got up, we would be able to see where that goes. And if the Rangers are willing to continue their spending like they just did, then there's supposed to be a very big free agent class next year, and that can also fix some of these problems. So I think Elijah Green ultimately – might be the best choice. Um, still kind of split between him and Drew Jones, but I think overall, Elijah Green. 
Yeah. And then for me, I think um, I'm not really that, like I said, I'm not really the highest on Drew Jones, but um, I know a lot of Rangers fans want Jace Young. And for, I mean, that's reasonable. I mean, you'd have the brother connection, which would be really cool, but I'm looking for the future. Tamar Johnson, even though he's a high schooler, I think he has the best hit tool in the class. And I think he could fly through the system really fast, even though he is a high schooler. Um, and I think he could be an above average defensive second baseman. So I think that has to, the, to be my pick. But um, if he's not available, which he could be a dark horse for the first overall pick, you never know with the under slot signings. Um, maybe Jacob Berry um, or, or Brooks Lee, maybe, maybe their hit tool for Barry just carries him that much. But even if Brook, Brooks Lee transfers over the third base, that's not the worst thing because a third base can, third baseman can really have a big impact on your team. Just look at Alex Bregman, Rafael Devers. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Who do you guys want? Um, do you guys want somebody that could possibly be at, at the Rangers at two to three years after they're drafted? Or is it somebody that's not even on this list, like Dylan Lesko, um, maybe the best high school pitcher in this draft class? Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the algorithm. And check out the Texas Rangers Fanatics YouTube channel, um, posting great content on there pretty much almost every single day. And between the two of us, you guys should be set until the regular season and way into the regular season as well. So with that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.